In this video we want to give you a basic idea on how to couple star CCM plus with cases. First we need a model. In this case we use a fan created with a profile blade. The one we use here can easily be changed with parameters like camber and start thickness. To vary these parameters within the blade we use lines. These lines are handed over to a generic blade. To duplicate the blade radially around the hub, we can use a predefined feature. If we now manipulate the skew for example, we can see how the whole blade changes accordingly. To form a hub, we use a surface of revolution on the contour line. The shroud can be created the same way, and the state are the same as the blades. To change this data, we can vary the inlet angle and the width. To create the computational domain we use BREPs, one for the blade and one for the volume around the blade created with the hub and the shroud surface. This will allow us to subtract the blade from the surrounding volume and of course the domain will change accordingly to geometry variation. Also we create a domain for the inlet and outlet. To be able to control star CCM plus with cases, we need to create Java macros in an already set up star CCM plus project. The easiest way to do this is by using the record button in star CCM plus. First, we replace the domain so that in every variation the model will be refreshed. Then we will change inputs that we want to control with cases later, like the amount of steps. Also we will export screenshots, tables and data so we can import it later in cases. After that we can stop the recording and switch back to cases. Now we've got everything to set up a software connector. We provide the domain as an input geometry and the Java macro as an input file. In the macro file we can implement parameters and design variables to vary the computation. To be able to evaluate and visualize the star CCM plus results, we import the result values and files. In this efficiency CSV, we calculate the average of our 100 last outputs and save the value in a parameter. This parameter can now be used as an objective when running an optimization. Because we imported the case file, it is now possible to do the post-processing in cases. It is possible to, for example, visualize the pressure field on the blade or the stator. Also, we can show, for example, the direction of the flow.
Now everything is prepared to run a design engine and optimize the model. We insert the design variables and borders in which we want them to change and the objectives we want to analyze. Then we can run the design engine. After we run the design engine, we can have a look at the results, sort them to see which design was most efficient and also look at screenshots we made from each design automatically. If we select the design, it is possible to look at the graphs we exported from StarCCM. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye!